What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough, Sunday edition. Oh, yes. Alrighty, so in our last episode, we actually went through Mount Moon, you know, defeated a few trainers, caught a few Pokemon, evolved a few Pokemon, that kind of stuff, and now it is time to get acquainted with the uh, Cerulean City uh, area, because, you know, uh, we got a badge right there, we got a Pokemon Mart there, uh, trading Pokemon there, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, so see you guys, and I just play. Anywho, we're in Cerulean City, a mysterious blue aura surrounds it, not really in this one, but in Pokemon Blue it does. Now there's quite a few places that you can actually check. The gym right here, one is a Cerulean City gym, where Misty's at, the tomboyish mermaid, of course, she is a water type trainer. I am not ready to face her just yet, because my Pokemon... Yeah, they all spread the love, and they are not leveled. They're not, not leveled up to play to face her right now. So here we go, talking to this girl. She's like, "Slow, bro, punch!" No, you blew it again. Okay, never mind. Well, I guess she needs some badges and all that stuff. Now, uh, let's see. Key places of interest. Now, if you guys go right here, grass and caves handled easily. Bike shop. We can go right here and take a look at what kind of bikes there are. But the only problem is. Yeah, this thing costs uh, uh, a million bucks. Who the hell sells a bike for a million bucks? Seriously, better be the best damn bike ever, like rocket ship and everything. I don't know. But anywho, we're going to be moving on right here, just checking out a few things. Um, Let's see, first is first. We got to get that rare candy that, you know, we uh, we, we are able to find right around here. Now, this guy right here will actually uh, describe to you what, uh, what badges or what effects the badges do have. Uh, we don't need to talk to him, but there is a rare candy right here somewhere. Let's see, right here? There it is. So there you go, guys. The hidden item right there, rare candy. And, uh, let's see, anything else around here that, you know, we need to check out? Oh, yes. Now, there is a little bit of an issue going on right here. Uh, if you talk to this guy, he's like, the people were robbed. It's obvious Team Rocket is behind his most heinous crime. Even our police force has trouble with the rockets. Okay. So, we got a little bit of an issue. As you can see, there's a Team Rocket member. Can't get to him. Uh, we have to defeat the gym leader. Or we have to get uh, through the whole build, uh, build thing in order to get to the Team Rocket member. Now, this go this place right here, I believe they give you a pouch for uh, berry powder, I think. Yes. Using a berry powder, I can make a any kind of medicine. Now, tell me. Do you have interest in berries? You know, if we say no... They're going to talk crap on us. If you say yes, yeah, we're part of this whole fraternity of berries and all that stuff. So, we're going to say yes. Why must I, why must you lie to me? How many berries do you have? None at all. Okay, well, uh, here's the thing. Here is the biggest thing about this. We, uh, yeah, we, we need berries. And in Kanto, there's not a lot of berries around. So, we're going to have to go elsewhere to get those berries. Now... Uh, there is a little something here that we're going to be doing. Um, let's see, I guess you guys already know because we played this game uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of times. We're going to be uh, battling Gary yet again because he's a dick. So here it is, guys. Yo, Draven! You're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great! I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me show you what I caught. Okay. Alright, bring it on. So here we go, our next battle against Rival Gary, and he's going to be coming out with his Pidgeotto, holy Jeebus. A non-level 18 Pidgeotto. Let's go ahead with the Thundershock, let's go. Aaliyah, level 18, takes a nice hit out of that, and eh, just like every single time, uh, Pidgeotto likes to take away your accuracy, so I'm going to try and hit Pidgeotto as much as, uh, as possible before it, things get really ugly right here, and uh, here we go again with another Sand Attack. Unfortunately, we don't have Shockwave with us, and uh, there is that quick attack, and uh, takes a nice chunk out of my Aaliyah's uh, HP, and uh, you know what? Next move is going to affect it really, really badly, so we're going to be switching it up right here to Thrasher, and we're going to kick his ass. That's right, go ahead, use your quick attack. You'll get poisoned. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, I didn't get poisoned. So here we go, another Rock Tomb, or quick attack, and here we go with the Rock Tomb for the win. Suck it, Pidgeotto. Just suck it. Alrighty, and Aaliyah grows to level 12. Mm-hmm. She should be happy about that. And Thrasher grows to level 17. That's always nice right there. And uh, he's coming out with his Squirtle. So now I have a chance. And uh, well, we're going to go back to Aaliyah right here. 
Hopefully it doesn't faint. Alrighty, bring it. Just bring it. So, Thundershock. Hopefully, for the win. Nope, it still needs... Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Crud baskets. Oh, damn. My niece is going to be... Yeah, she's going to be furious with me. So, let's go with Tornado right here. I don't know why. I just got to spread the love right now. So, let's go with the Peck Attack. And uh, how is it that Squirtle is faster than a Bird-type Pokemon? I don't know. So, here we go. Peck Attack. We're going to keep on pecking away. And, uh... Huh. Okay. Here we go, into the tackle attack, and uh, there goes my tornado. Holy Jesus! Okay. I'm gonna bring out the big guns. Let's go with Thrasher, even though it is weak to water types. But it will be able to actually hit this guy twice. So there we go with one hit and two hits. This guy does have a nice defense right here, and uh, <laughs> oh man, oh man. Yeah, I'm uh, yeah, I'm kind of struggling right now. There we go! Suck it, Squirtle! Suck the fattest one. So there we go. Another Squirtle done. Pokemon is, uh, okay. And he's gonna be coming out with an Abra right here, so let's go right ahead and switch it out to... Godzilla? Godzilla, Godzilla. That's right. And he's got, like, two other Pokemon. Yeah, he's got two. So he should have evolved his Pokemon right here, but, uh, you know, I guess Gary's not that smart of a Pokemon trainer. And there we go. Mega Punch for the win. Take that, and uh, he's coming out with his Rattata, so let's go straight to Project Pig Hammer right here. Oh yeah, Project Pig Hammer. Alrighty, okay. And uh, let's go with a Karate Chop, just to, you know, just, just, to, just to beat this rat Pokemon right here. Let's go, let's go. Karate Chop does its thing, eat it Rattata. Alrighty, okay, and uh, look at that, Pig Hammer grows to level 14. Very good level right there. And, uh, well, Gary's been defeated. He's like, hey, take it easy. You won already. Mm hmm. I wonder what you say when I don't win. Hey, guess what? I went to Bill's house, or I went to Bill's and got to show, or got him to show me my, his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill's the world's famous, uh, is world famous as a Pokemaniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system, too. Or the Pokemon storage system on PC, too. Since you're using a system, you should go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. Flipping you off, Gary. I'm flipping you off. And uh, he sees me flipping him off. He's like, oh, yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. No, really, you're always plotting behind me. So here, I'll give you a little present as a favor. And we get ourselves a fame checker. This asshole right here is calling me a failure because I'm always behind him. That's the plot. That is the plot of this story, but I'm always kicking his ass. A chatty gossip like you, I, yeah, I don't speak at all. The thing's perfect. I don't need it because I don't have, uh, I don't give a hoot about others. All right, this time I am really gone. Smell ya. Suck it, Gary. Suck it. Anywho, guys, I'm going uh, off screen to, uh, yeah, I'm going off screen to heal up my Pokemon and do other things too because, uh, yeah, we still got something to do right here. So I'll be right back in just a little bit. Alrighty guys, so off screen I actually got to kill my Pokemon and got to buy a few items here and there just because, you know, you can never be too prepared. I bought myself a few potions, including super potions and repels. Yeah, I only had mo enough money for three repels, so it's not like we're going to be going through a lot of grass right now. And uh, what we're going to be doing right here is uh, we're going to be going straight to the Nugget Bridge and battling quite a few trainers around the area, you know, just uh just to, just to have a little fun uh, and uh, you know just to grow a few more levels because we do have an impending uh, gym battle coming up after us right here so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna cross this nugget bridge right here in route 24 and uh, here we go people call this the nugget bridge beat us five trainers and win a fabulous prize think you got what it takes yes I do I do have what it takes if you guys don't believe it, then go suck it. So here we go, Bugcatcher Kale wants the battle and he's coming out with his Caterpie. That's right. Here we go, Tornado. We're gonna be pecking away. So it's gonna be a total Tornado peck, uh, peck attack right here. I have a feeling this guy has a bunch of Metapods, right? Comes out with the Weedledon. Oh yes, okay, so the, he's gonna have both, both of these suckers. And uh, well, let's see. Let's go with this. 
let's go with that. Super effective. And, uh, alrighty. Getting that experience points. And he's going to be coming out with the Metapod, so we're going to still go with Tornado right here. And, uh, let's go with Peck Attack. Alrighty. Oh, wow. It's defense proceeds it. And, uh, that's the only me. that's the only move that's going to use. Just, you know, uh, uh, Harden because it can't do anything else. Because these, uh, bug type trainers, these bug catchers, are too dumb to even evolve them. Just capture straight up, uh, you know, Kakunas and Metapods. That's always a fun thing to do. And, you know what? I'm just going to stay because, you know what? Screw you guys. Screw you, bug catcher. I'm just going to prove a point right here. Look at that. Tornado for the win. Fatality. That's right. That's how you do it. And look at that. Tornado grows to level 13. And it learned Fury Attack. Not a very impressive move, but it's still something else. It's another option right there. And yes, good stuff. Good stuff. Alrighty. So who's next? Okay, so I'm... Bl if I'm not mistaken, this person actually does have a, uh, a Pidgey right here. So we're going to start off with uh, Leah. And we're going to get revenge over the, 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 the little battle that we had with Gary. I'm second. Now it's serious. Bring it. Bring it, sister. Alrighty. Okay. Let's go. Last, Ali wants the battle. And uh, here we go with Aaliyah going with a Thundershock. Ladies and gentlemen, third down Thunder. Oh, damn. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, of course, you're gonna be using Sand Attack because, you know, all Pidgeys are assholes like that. So, here we go again. Thundershock for the win. Oh, yeah. Dumb man. And, uh, well, look at that. We're, we're, we're growing. So, we're gonna be going to Godzilla right here because he needs some loving, too. You know, I do have four Pokemon on my team. And, uh, well, let's see what we got. Let's go with an Ember Attack. These grass type Pokemon have nothing on me. Alrighty. Look at that. Oddish defeated. Everybody else getting some points. So here he comes out with a Bell Sprout. And I'm going to stay with Godzilla because, you know, fire type Pokemon. So here we go. Ember Attack for the win. And that's it. Bye bye, Bell Sprout. That's right. And, uh, well, almost growing to level 19. That's always a good thing. And she's like, how could I lose? Well, you don't really have that strong Pokemon. Alrighty, and she's like, I did my best and I have no regrets. They're, they're all gonna say that right there. So, let's see, what is the next trainer right here? Uh, oh yes, he's gonna have a sand true. Okay, so, let's see. If you guys are wondering how I know this, I got a... Whatchamacallit, I got the Pokemon Guide book right here. <laughs> it works. It shortens, uh, it shortens the time right here. So, let's go and battle this guy right here. Number three. I won't be easy! Yeah, well, you know, it is what it is. Bring it! Bring a sister. So here we go, youngster Timmy wants the battle, and he's coming out with his sand true. And I'm coming with Thrasher. And uh well, let's see. Well, let's go with double kick. You know, it never hurts to try. And there we go, another double kick. And uh yeah, this Pokemon is a little strong. So he's gonna come with his sand attack. You know, it's always good. And uh let's see. You know what? Let's go ahead and use that raw tomb, and it's yeah, it misses. Oh my god, so it's gonna be a while before we have a viable Pokemon right here. I do have a Pokemon in mind to put on my team right here. So, let's go back to Double Kick, and I miss again. Good golly. Okay, so... Using Thrasher is not going to help. So, let's go straight to Godzilla, Godzilla. I don't think Sandshrew has a Ground-type attack just yet. It just has Scratch. And, uh, apparently that was a critical hit. So, let's go with Metal Claw right here. Eat this. Oh, nearly... Wow, this Pokemon does have a nice... nice he has nice strength. Alright, let's go with the Ember Attack. See what that does. That's right, critical hit. Should have probably started with Godzilla. <laughs> okay, so I'm learning, and there we go. Godzilla grows to level 19. Alrighty, okay. And uh, it's coming out with an Ekans. Let's do this. Let's go back to Aaliyah. She is the Snake Destroyer, right? Right, right, right. Yes, right. So here we go, Aaliyah coming out, and here comes Ekans with that Intimidate. We don't like that. I don't like that at all. So here we go. Let's try Mega Kick. Hopefully that works out, and... Takes a nice chunk. My defense is down. I am not liking that. So what we're going to do is going to go with Thundershock. 
Alrighty, and uh... Oh, crud. Crud baskets. Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Okay, so... I thought I was gonna get poisoned. Luckily, you know, I bought some antidotes for that stuff, and here's that rap attack. I'm not... I'm not liking that. But you're paralyzed! <laughs> Alrighty, and uh... Oh, crud. Rap attack is still hurting me, so here we go. Thundershock for the win! Suck it! Alrighty. Alrighty, my Pokemon are together. Ow! Stomp flat! Yes, you did. You got stomp flat to the ground. Alright, you're gonna say the same thing, so I'm not gonna even talk to you. And, uh... Well, I'm gonna stick with Thrash right here, but I'm going to heal my Pokemon right now because, uh, you know, it's always nice to heal your Pokemon right now. So let's go right here. You are healed, my Pikachu. Good stuff. Aaliyah. Healed. Alrighty, okay, and uh, let's go ahead and take this person on right here, and she's like, number four! Getting tired? No, I am not getting tired, young lady. So here we go, another battle, last Riley, or Reli, or shit, how do you, I don't even know how to pronounce that. I really don't. <laughs> Alrighty, so here we go, another battle, the young one versus the Thrasher. Bow down to your king. Alrighty, okay. And, uh, yeah, the, the peck attack is always up nice. So let's let's show you a real peck attack right here. Look at that. You see? It makes you faint. And I also get a crit. So, sick on that. And there we go. Thrasher grows a level 18, which is always good. And, uh, coming out with a Needle Queen version of it. And so let's go give some love to Godzilla Godzilla. Because, uh, that's what it's all about. Giving Godzilla some love. And, uh, okay. So let's go Ember attack right here. Now, a lot of you guys definitely loving my, my walkthrough, my leaf green walkthrough. And again, this is a uh, weekend only kind of thing. Some of you guys are asking, are you going to come out with maybe uh, two, two episodes a day on the weekends? Maybe. Depends on the mood and depends on what I'm going to be doing. But my goal is to get as many things done in one episode as possible. So that's why you guys are getting the whole shebang right here. You know, the whole shebang from down there, Cerulean City, all the way to Bill's house and all that stuff. Trust me, guys, I, I'm i trying to make this walk to, uh, I don't know, Lexi, I'm trying to make, uh, well, trying to make uh, less episodes as possible for this. And uh, this guy right here, I believe, has a Mankey, right? He does have a Mankey. Yes, he does have a Mankey. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and switch it out to Tornado. Let's do this. I try to run and, yeah. Okay, number four, I'll stomp you. You won't stop me at all, homeboy. Here we go. Shorty, short, short, short. Ethan comes out to battle and he's coming out with his Mankey. And we already know that Mankey has a pretty crappy defense, so let's go with the peck attack and. Oh, crud. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I try to hit you real quick and. Yeah, oh, wow. Wow, that's what happens when you get cocky, guys. You get your ass kicked. Fuck you, Mankey. Oh, God. Okay, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's go with Godzilla. Wow. You know, I try to... <laughs> wow. I can already tell that some of you guys are laughing at me right here. I'm laughing too. I'm laughing with you guys. And uh, this fucking man, he's gonna get it. He's gonna get it now. Alright. Take a, take a whiff of my ember right here. That's right. Suck it, Mankey. God, man. I thought I, I really was... Oh, God. I had this whole thing planned and I just, like, screwed up. He's, just, he's like, whoa, too much. You know what? Fuck you, man. Fuck you. Anywho. Okay, we got one more trainer. I do not want to go to the Pokemon Center, so... You know what? Let's go and uh, go ahead and use this revive. Don't remember where I got that revive, though. And, uh... So you're, 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 you're fully revived. And, uh, you know... Let's go ahead and use a potion here. And a potion there. Alright, don't hate me. There we go. Tornado, you are fully revived. And, uh, let's give some to Godzilla, because he's, uh, you know, he's been doing some work, too. And, uh, let's see, this guy right here... Okay, so, I think I got the Pokemon for this guy. Let's go ahead and bring the heat. Let's go with Thrasher. Congratulations! You beat our five contest trainers! You just earned a fabulous prize. Got a Nugget, which is always good. And, uh, by the way, would you like to join Team Rocket? Mm-mm. We're a group of professional criminals specializing in Pokemon. Wanna join? Mm-mm. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Come on, join us. 
Uh, I'm telling you to join, and I'm telling you to see this. Fuck you. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. How about switch up your Pokemon? You know, try something new. Don't bring out like you know the the typical Ekans and Zubat. You know, how about an Arbok or a Golbat? I don't know. Bring it on. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you this right now. If I was in the real Pokemon world, I would probably be more antagonizing than anything. So, yeah. Draven with attitude. And there we go. Thrasher versus uh, Ekans or Snake. Spelled back backwards. And uh, let's go ahead and use that Rock Tomb. There we go. He is no more. Eh, with the speed. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. He's coming out with his bite. Alright. You know, this is for all the bird type Pokemon that you uh that you've eaten, you slut of a snake. Here we go. And that's how you do it. Oh yeah, he's really convincing me to join Team Rocket. <laughs> he's doing a real good job. Okay, so let's go with Aaliyah and finish this off. You know, traditional, typical order. There we go, Aaliyah. Alrighty. And uh, let's see. Let's go with a Thunder Shock right here. Alrighty. And uh, Zubat has been uh, getting his ass kicked in crud. You know, just like that, I'm getting paralyzed and you know confused and all that stuff. So well, let's go again. Come on. Come on, Aaliyah. Don't get confused. And there we go. You see that? You see? You see how easy that was? Fairly easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. And, uh, look at that. Level 13 is something that we've been waiting for. And, uh, he's like, oh, you're too good. Yes, I am. You convinced me. <laughs> you convinced me. <laughs> With your ability, you'd become a top leader in Team Rocket. Come on. Think of the opportunity! Don't let this chance go to waste. I'm gonna let it go to waste because, uh, yeah, I don't want to join you guys. You guys suck. Anywho, uh, normally I'd stop right here, but since I said that, you know, we're gonna do the whole entire shebang right here, let's go ahead and grab this little item right here, and, uh, we get ourselves a TM45, which is Attract. Uh, trust me, guys, it works for any Pokemon that you're trying to attract. Uh, remember, no same-sex thing, you know. Not that there's anything wrong, it's just, you know, Pokemon and prejudice like that. <laughs> Anywho, uh, let's see, we got another trainer right here, and, uh, let's go ahead and go with Pig Hammer right here. Alrighty. Let's see. Okay, so let's go. Bring it. I saw your feet from the grass. Alrighty. What did, what, 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 what's it to it? So here we go, coming out with Camper Shane, and he's coming out with his Ratatata, and I'm coming out with a Pig Hammer. And Pig Hammer? Is about to go with a low kick because he's going low blows right now. Look at that. And uh, super effective, but this Reddita is not taking any crap from me. He's going to go lower my defenses, and I'm going to go with another low kick because I like to go low. That's my purse. I don't know you. Bam. <laughs> and uh, there we go. And he's coming out with an Ekin. So let's go ahead and switch him out. Um, yeah, you know what? Tornado needs some loving. Lots and lots of loving. Why? I don't know. So here we go, Tornado versus Ekans. Alrighty. I can already smell the tension right here. And uh, let's see. You know what? Let's go with. Uh, hmm. Huh. <laughs> you know what? Fury Attack sounds good. There we go. There we go again. There we go. Oh, we're getting three. Okay, so that was three, three times. And uh, that Poison Sting is not going to help us. And uh, let's go again with another Fury Attack. Uh, let's go. Come on, give me five. Give me... Oh, crud. Well, technically, it did give me five. Okay, so let's go again and, uh, Fury Attack again. Fury Attack again. And suck it, Ekans. Suck it. You're welcome. And uh, there we go. Defeat these guys. And, uh, yes, Camper Shane has been defeated. And, uh, he's like, I thought not. Hmm. Okay. Alrighty, so, let's see. Now, there is a Pokemon right here that I do want to capture, so I'm going to go off screen and try and find it. I'm not going to waste you guys' time right here. So I'll be back in, eh, give me a few seconds, all right? I'll see you guys. Alrighty, guys, so the next Pokemon on our team is Bellsprout. Now, now, a lot of you guys are new here, but in my original Leaf Green walkthrough, I actually did capture a Bellsprout. It was a very, very good uh, Pokemon on my team, 
And uh, yeah, I kind of miss it. Yeah, this is a tribute to the Pokemon that I'm having on my team uh, that I had in the past. And so, Bellsprout, you're gonna find yourself a spot right here with your, your good old buddies right here. So, let's go right ahead and just uh, scratch the crap out of it. Try not to make it faint. Of course, it's a very good special attacker when it comes to uh, growth and all that stuff. And uh, should I risk it? Let's risk it. Here we go, scratch attack. And yes, okay, so we are in business. Let's go right ahead and throw that Pokeball. Alrighty. And uh, yes, I did buy myself five Pokeballs, just for this occasion right here. There we go. Stay in the ball. Stay in the friggin' ball. Stay in the friggin' ball! Yeah! What now? Alrighty, so there it is, guys. Our next Pokemon member on our team is Bellsprout. And uh, let's go right ahead and read this uh, entry right here. The Flower Pokemon. A carnivore's Pokemon that traps and eats bugs. It appears to use its root feet to replenish moisture. A lot of you girls don't like moist. You know, the word moist. And uh, so, let's give it a nickname right here. Now, if you guys remember, in Pokemon Crystal, I did capture a, uh, a Bellsprout, evolved it all the way to a Victory Bell, and uh, yes, it is keeping its name. We're gonna be calling this Pokemon the Razor. That's right. I bequeath you the name Sir Razor. I should probably call it Sir Razor. I don't even know. But there it is, Razor. Ah, screw it, I'm gonna... It's still gonna be the same thing. So I'm gonna call this Pokemon right here by the same name. I bequeath you, Dub D, Sir Razor. Alrighty, so let's see, Razor. Should probably change it. No, not Razor, Razor. Alrighty. Alright guys, I'll be right back in just a little bit. Alrighty guys, so off screen I uh, went to go heal my Pokemon bought some uh, more healing items and uh, let's see let's go ahead and take a look at Sir Razor right here so as you can see Sir Razor it is both a grass and poison type Pokemon it is bashful nature and all that fun stuff too and as you can see it has the ability of chlorophyll so it raises its speed in sunshine so if you guys have like you know sunny day and anything this is actually the good combination for your Pokemon right here uh, as you can see, it, both its attack and special attack is very, very good. And uh, it does have some good moves. Grass, uh, Vine Whip, Growth, and Wrap. And, uh, well, we got a full house right here. And like I said, guys, uh, most of these Pokemon right here won't be on the team, you know, forever. I'm going to be making a few changes here and there. So, trust me, guys. I know what I'd be doing. I know. I know many of you guys want me to put, you know, Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, all that stuff. Hydra, you know, which I will. Don't worry, trust me. I got it all planned out. I want to involve as many Pokemon as possible here. I want to make it an adventure, guys. I just want to. I really do. Just let me have the adventure, guys. Anywho, enough talking. Let's go right ahead and uh, continue on our adventure right here. Now we're in Route One or Route 25, and we're going to be seeing so many more trainers. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be training. We're going to be kicking butt right now. So as you can see, I just got down from Mount Moon. But I've still got a lot of gas in the tank. That seems like a personal problem right there. It really does. Anywho, let's go ahead and battle this guy right here. As you can see, his name is Hiker Franklin. He thinks he's tough. So he's throwing a Machop. And I'm coming out with a Tornado. Alrighty. Let's go with that pick attack right here. Let's get ourselves some experience points. And, uh, oh crud. Yes. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be aware of that low kick. And, uh, oh god, this guy, Karate Chop. And... Are you serious? Oh my god. Okay. Let's go with Sir Razor. You know, the Pokemon's barely, uh... <laughs> eh, yeah, it's it's barely strong enough. And, uh, okay, so not that effective. But, look at that. Sir Razor wins! Oh yeah. And it almost goes to level uh, 13. So I'm gonna keep it right there. And, uh, Franklin coming out with the Geodude, so let's go right ahead. My whip. Simple stuff. Oh yes. Very good pick. Very, very good pick right here. Sir Razor going to level 13 and uh, nearly growing to level 14. I am a little irritated because, uh, yeah, Spiro. Okay, so that is uh, probably what I'm going to be doing right now, is I'm going to be going back to the Pokemon Center. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. You gotta love that, guys. You really do have to love that. Anywho, I'm gonna go right here, and uh, I'm gonna be fast forwarding.
I'm back, baby. Okay, so let's go back upstairs and uh, battle everybody and get some revenge for Spiro. Seriously, Spiro, you gotta stop. Uh, you gotta stop painting. You really have to stop painting. So let's go back up here and uh, battle everybody else. And uh, if I remember correctly, one boy right here does have an onyx. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see. Switch it out to. Oh, I don't know, Sir Razor. You know, give him some loving. So let's go right here. And there we go. You're going to see Bill? First, we battle. Alrighty. Bring it. Just bring it. So here we go. Hiker Wayne wants the battle, and he's coming out with his Onyx. Alrighty. Sir Razor, about to show off his power right here. And let's go with the Vine Whip, but there goes that rock throw. Takes a nice chunk out of my HP, but here we go. One hit KO. Sir Razor wins. Oh yes. Very, very, very good addition to the team right here. Oh yes. It's making everybody look uh, bad right now. <laughs> Alrighty, okay, so let's see. Um, let's go right ahead and switch it out. Sir Razor's kicking some butt. Let's go with uh let's go with a pig hammer right here. And uh let's go ahead and finish off these people. So here we go. Local trainers come here to practice! You don't say. Alright. Next opponent is a youngster Joey, and he's coming with his Ratata. And I'm gonna go with Pick Hammer because he's awesome with Karate Chop. But of course, uh, Ratata coming with his uh, critical hit quick attack. Thanks a lot, Jackass. And, uh, well, Pick Hammer, of course, counters back with the Karate Chop. So powerful that, you know, it knocked his brain out. So he's coming out with his own Spiro. And uh, let's go with Aaliyah right here. So we're spreading the love. Got a lot of trainers to battle, guys, but we're spreading that love right here. And, uh, well, Spiro looking mean, full of piss and vinegar. But here comes Aaliyah, full of uh, not so piss and vinegar. Takes Spiro out, and uh, all that peg attack won't work. It will paralyze you, though. Oh, yeah. And, uh, well, let's go with the Thunder Shock right here. Oh, yeah. And uh, Spiro has been eliminated. Alrighty, okay. Let's do that. And, uh, well, we defeated Youngster. And he's like, you're decent. Really, bud? I just kicked your ass. I just mopped the floor with you, and you're just calling me decent? You're a dick. You're a real big dick. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out. And let's go with the Leah right here, because the next trainer on our list has a slowpoke. Dan took me to the great party on the SSN at Vermilion City. I'm like, well, you know, that's always good. That is very nice. So here we go. Youngster Dan would like to battle, coming out with his Slowpoke. And I'm going to be coming out with Aaliyah, the tank. Thundershock! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And, uh, wow, that did not really go as planned. And, uh, okay, let's go with another Thundershock. Hopefully this wins right here. Now, if you guys are wondering, does the Mew Glitch work on Leaf Green and Fire Red? And no, it doesn't. Remember, guys, the two components for that, uh... For that little event to happen, it happened to be the guy uh, near the area where I captured uh, what you call it, uh, Bell Sprout, and uh, this guy right here. Unfortunately, we're not going to be. Well, I, I think I've already shown it in my Pokemon Yellow. Yes, I've shown it in my Pokemon Yellow walkthrough. And uh, if you guys want to go ahead and take a look at that, go right ahead. You know, it's right there on the cheese list, I guess. With all the legendary Pokemon that I tried capturing, and uh, this guy is paralyzed. You cannot move. That's right. Finish him off. Quick attack. There we go. That is how you do it. And uh, that's right, Aaliyah grows to level 14. And it's pretty strong right now. Very, very strong. Very, very strong. Alrighty, okay. Now, let's go ahead and uh, start leveling up some Pokemon right here. And uh, let's go with uh, Tornado. Bring it. Hi, my bro friend is cool. Uh, really? Is your boyfriend cool? Is he really? So, Picnicker Kelsey would like to battle, and she's gonna come out with her Nidoran male. And I'm coming out with Tornado. Alrighty. Fury attack. Alrighty. That's one. Please don't get poisoned. Please don't get poisoned. Don't get poisoned. There we go. Oh, I got poisoned! Jinxed it! Oh, okay. And, uh, of course, this guy's getting pumped up, so let's finish this guy off with another Fury Attack. Hopefully it gets those, uh, four to five, uh, three to four to five hits, I don't know. Come on. Oh, crud. There we go. 
There we go, Tornado! That is how you do it. So, as you can see, we defeated Nidoran, and we needed to grow to level uh, 14, but it's poisoned. I am not going to take that risk. I am going to switch it out to, let's see, Godzilla, Godzilla. It needs to get to level 20. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Godzilla, looking like a like a pimp right there, coming out with his ember attack. And uh, nearly faints, but here we go with a double kick. And uh, that doesn't do anything to us. So let's go, ember attack for the win. That's right. You cannot defeat Godzilla. And that is how you do it. My conditioning isn't the best. <laughs> Okay, what kind of condition are you doing? Let's see, uh, I wish my boyfriend was as good as you. Ho ho ho! Shots fired. Okay, so let's see. Antidote is always nice. Let's go ahead and give that to Tornado. And, uh, now let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Um, let's see. No, no, wrong one. We're gonna share the wealth, go with Pig Hammer and Sir Razor right here. And, uh, let's see. You know what? I'm gonna give some regular potions to Pig Hammer. There we go. Pig Hammer is looking pretty nice. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and battle this guy. He's coming out. I'm off to see the Pokemaniacs collection at the Cape. Okay. Alright. Whatever you say, homeboy. Here we go. Hiker Knob would like to battle, and he's coming out with his Geo Dudes. Okay. Just bring it. And, uh,. Well, let's see. I'm gonna go with the Vine Whip because it's strong against these rock type Pokemon. See? No chance whatsoever. Oh, yeah. And there we go. Level 15. Hello, hello. Sir Racer. Learning Sleep Powder, which is always good. And uh, it's coming out with another Geodude. So I'm gonna give the love to Pig Hammer right here. And hopefully grow in a few more levels. I don't even know. So here we go. Pig Hammer looking strong as a manky can be, and uh, we're gonna go with Karate Chop. Oh god. You know, if that was uh, Sir Razor, then yeah, it would have been easier. But no, it's not easy at all. So here we go again, Karate Chop. That's right, Hassan Chop. And, uh, okay. Level 15, hello, hello. Alrighty, Pokemon are looking uh, pretty awesome right there, and he's coming out with another Geodude, so let's go ahead and stick with Pig Hammer right here. There's enough uh, Pokemon to go around. Here we go, Karate Chop. Nearly makes him faint. God dang it. So there it goes. Tackle attack. And let's finish it off. Low kick for the win. And that is how you do it. Alrighty. Okay. And he's coming out with his Mod Chop, so we all know who is uh, ready for this job. Let's go with Tornado. Alrighty. Tornado Tomato. Do not faint against this guy. Please. Peg attack. Let's do it. Come on. Ah, oh, crud. That was going to be like a one-hit KO, but this guy screws himself with the focus energy. So let's go ahead and finish him off. Peg attack. Alrighty. Tornado's looking pretty good now. Okay. Alrighty. And, uh, well, look at that. Tornado grows to level 14. And, uh, that's, that's, that's always good. That's a very, very good. Okay. Alrighty. I just realized something. I realize this right now. I do have a grass type TM, and I should probably teach it to our good old buddy uh, Sir Rays right here. So let's go ahead and teach it Bullet Seed. And uh, let's see. Hmm. You know what? Let's go ahead and take away that rap attack. It's not really going to do us any good. I mean, we're in generation 3 right here, I think. And uh, look at that. It is growing! So Razor learns Bullet Seed. Alrighty, and uh, well, some of these moves uh, I could use, but it is whatever. Um, yeah, I'm not going to use it to anybody right now. Um, let's see. This guy right here has himself a Ratatata, so let's go and screw it up for him with Pig Hammer. Alrighty, bring it. Let's go right here. I'm a cool guy! I've got a girlfriend! Okay whatever you say, but she she just told me uh, she wishes you were stronger than I was. So here it is, Camper Flint coming out with his Ratata. Mm-hmm. Now, of course, I'm drinking some water because I'm talking a lot. Here we go, Karate Chop. And that is how you do it, guys. <laughs> oh, yes. And, uh, let's see, coming out with his Ekans. 
let's go with Thrasher because I haven't seen him in a minute. Probably like 15 minutes. Alrighty. Nido King, Thrasher, and Smasher. And uh, of course, there's that Intimidate that we don't like. And well, let's go ahead and finish this guy off with some Rock Tomb. And it misses! God dang it! Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna like this right now. Let's go ahead and uh, finish this guy off. Rock Tomb? Oh god. I completely forgot. It is very, very inaccurate. Yeah. One cool move right there. So, not so effective. Come on, Rock Tomb. There it is. Oh, yeah. And, uh... Doesn't take a lot, but it's something. And, uh... The only move Ekans has is Poison Sting, and it's not going to affect us. Not one bit. So, let's go ahead and destroy him. Peck Attack will do it. And, uh... Yeah, all our stats are lowered right now, but... You're still not doing anything, because, look at that, for all the bird types you've eaten. And, uh, Flint, he's like, oh darn. Yeah, you just got your butt kicked. Uh, let's see what you got. Oh, well, my girlfriend will cheer me up. <laughs> I highly doubt it. Anywho, we don't have the cut technique right here, guys. But by doing that, it enables him to move aside and grab, and we'll be able to grab this right here, which is uh, Secret Power. A nice move, you know, to teach any of your Pokemon. I think any Pokemon can learn it. And uh, this guy right here does have a Pokemon that we can beat it with. Let's go with Tornado. That's right. Okay. Alright. Let's go. Or I could be mistaken. I don't even know. Alrighty. Ah, oh, crap. I think I chose the wrong Pokemon. Oh, well. Let's go, Ekans. And, uh... Tornado right here. Alrighty. And, uh, well, let's see. That Intimidate will not do us anything. So let's go ahead and switch it out to Thrash right here. Tornado, you will not be eaten today. Alrighty. Bring it, Ekans. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see what we got. Peck Attack. Pick a Picker. That's right. And, uh, more Leer Attacks, of course. You guys already get that. Anywho, let's see. Any Anything to talk about? Um, I hope you guys are having a good weekend. Not much of a talker, more of a narrator and all that stuff. Um, uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm actually having fun doing this walkthrough right here, and, uh, you know, uh, this walkthrough actually will be done, uh, I think, um, uh, right, right before we, we get into our Pokemon Black, or maybe into, like, the next generation, I don't even know. But as you can see right here, Bullet Seed. Oh, yes. Good addition to the team right there. Oh, yeah. Super effective. Oh, yes. Yep, yeah, I'm starting to think that Sir Razor is a keeper right here on our team. And, uh, youngster Chad, he's like, I knew I'd lose. Not so much confidence. Really, you need to build that up. And, uh, well, I'm going to continue on right here with the last trainer of the day. And, uh, this guy right here is like, my friend has many cute Pokemon. I'm so jealous. Stay jealous. You have to stay jealous. Okay, so here we go. Last Haley would like to battle, and she's coming out with her Oddish. And uh, Tornado right here. Looking like a badass out of hell. And uh, there we go. Peck Attack will do that. And uh, of course, you gotta love that sweet scent. You really do. Not so uh, not so sweet right now. And uh, let's go again, Peck Attack. That's right. That is how you do it. Alrighty, okay. And uh, Tornado. Getting that experience points, but it's coming out with a Pidgey, so let's go right ahead and uh, use Aaliyah right here. Oh yes, I had a, I had a, I had a nice uh, idea. Maybe I should, uh, maybe I should uh, bring in Smasher. I should, but then again, you know, defeats the purpose. As you can see, Pidgey getting his butt kicked right now. Oh yes, and uh, of course the accuracy is going to always fall against any kind of Pidgeys right here, and. Uh, there you go. Alrighty, okay. Get that, and uh, more experience points. And she'll be coming out with one more Onish, so let's go right ahead and finish it off with Tornado right here. No need to use Godzilla, because you know Godzilla is the ultimate guns, the big guns and all that stuff. That's right, okay, so here we go. Onish, say hello to Tornado. Okay, and that, that really didn't do me much. And, uh, well, it's coming out with Absorb, and... Uh, well, not so effective, but it does take a lot of our energy. So here we go again, another peck attack for the win. That's right. Okay. Alrighty, and there you go. That's right, level 15, which is always good. 
And she's gonna be like, I'm not so jealous! Not anymore, right? Okay, so that's enough of that, and uh, let's see. Sea Cottage, Bill, Bill lives here. Now, before we do that, let's go ahead and talk to these people. This cape is famous, uh, is a famous date spot. Misty, the gym leader, has high hopes about this place. I don't know, probably because nobody likes her? I don't know. Hello, are you here alone? If you're out at Cerulean at Cerule Cape, well, it should be as a couple. Ah, uh, well, you know what? I'm married to my Pokemon. I am forced to. Now, if you're looking for Bill, you're not going to see him anywhere around here now. Remember, playing Pokemon Blue for the very first time, and I was so confused. I was trying to find Bill, and uh, it wasn't until, like, uh, I had to talk to one of my friends at the schoolyard and ask him, Hey, how do you, like, how do you uh, get out of Cerulean City? It wasn't until he told me that you had to talk to the Clefairy. Yeah, that was way before the internet or cheat guides or anything like that, guys. So talk to this guy right here. Hiya, I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not. Call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemaniac. Hey, what's that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, pal. I'm screwed up and or I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So how about it? Help me out. Wait till I get inside the teleporter. When I do, go to my PC and run the cell separation system. Alrighty. Now every single time I talk to this guy, I would always walk out and not know what to do. And uh, of course, my friend told told me that you know go to the computer and just use it. So, again, what a day and age we live in now because uh, we have computers, internet, and all that stuff. Back then, you had to talk to your friends in the schoolyard. Oh, good times, good times, good times. And uh, would you look at that? He's out here looking all awesome and stuff, and he's gonna be very, very happy about it. So let's talk to him. And he's like, "Yeah, thanks, bud. I owe you one." So, did you come here, or did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't? That's a bummer. I've got it, uh, I've, got, I've got it, thank you. Oh, here, maybe this'll do. And here we have the SS ticket from Bill. It's always nice to have something from him. And uh, that's a cruise ship to the SSN is is a, or wait, 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 the, the cruise ship SSN is in Vermilion City. I hear there are lots of trainers on board too. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand fancy dudes. Why don't you go instead of me? Go on and have a good time. Okay, alrighty, sounds good. So, let's go right ahead and, uh, okay, so... Once you do that, you can come outside, and then go back inside, and, uh, go ahead and talk to him once more time, and he's like, Feel like checking out my uh, some of my rare Pokemon on my PC? Go on and check out my PC. This will actually add uh, pages to your, uh, yeah, to your to your list. He does have the evolutions at the time. So we got Eevee, and then we got Flareon. Not so many of you guys like him. Jolteon. Many of you guys want me to switch my Aaliyah for Jolteon. I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> and then a Vaporeon right here. And uh, that is pretty much it. So we got enough pages. We're happy. We're good. And uh, everything is uh, completed right here. So. In the next episode, guys, yes, uh, I still need to train my Pokemon just a little bit more. So we're going to be going straight to Vermilion City and uh, do a little bit more things right there before we battle Misty. So I'm going to be running back to Cerulean City, of course, as you can see. Everything is clear. We're not going to be battling him right now. And uh, yeah, we're going to stay put and uh, just wait until next week for the next episode. It's going to be fun, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>